Putnam County man is accused of sexually assaulting, trafficking, and tattooing an underage girl over a two-year period. This case is something that uh, is, is kind of got all of the classic qualifiers of grooming, of building of a rapport with this uh, juvenile. We want to warn you, details in this case are graphic. The state attorney's office pursued a warrant last month and arrested William Merrill yesterday. He now faces a list of charges. News for Jack's reporter Corley Peel joining us live from Putnam County. Corley, you spoke with a detective about Merrill's arrest. Detectives here at the sheriff's office say Merrill met the teen at a social gathering and he offered her a babysitting job, then ultimately messaged her on social media. Now detectives say they spoke with that teen who says she ultimately ended the relationship because she thought he might kill her. Behind the walls of this interlocking home, an arrest warrant lists details of torture. It's where detectives say 29-year-old William Merrill sexually assaulted and trafficked a teen from June 2020 to September 2021. This case is something that uh, is, is kind of got all of the classic qualifiers of grooming, of building of a rapport with this uh, juvenile. I spoke with Captain Chris Stallings with the Putnam County Sheriff's Office. He says the teen began sneaking out to see Merrill after speaking with him on Facebook Messenger. Family didn't know she was sneaking out for the longest time just because she was coming back and then I guess as this, this relationship progressed, she started spending more and more time away. The teen told detectives Merrill would get mad if she tried to go home to doctor appointments or school. He would choke her to the point of almost losing consciousness and burn her skin leaving scars according to the warrant. He had a firearm that he threatened to kill himself with. She was able to get the gun from him at some point and then he turned the gun on her. The teen told detectives Merrill tattooed initials and other symbols on her. Merrill sold nude and explicit videos with the teen online. She says the final straw was after Merrill put a dog collar and drug her around the house, according to the warrant. The teen also told detectives Merrill was having sex with another teen girl who hid in his closet. One of the deputies made contact with him at another location that he wasn't living at and learned that the juvenile had been staying there for about four days and he had known she was there. So do you think that there could be even more victims? It, these situations, you would love to say no, but you. It's one of those we don't find about until after the fact. So we've asked anybody with any information that may know whereabouts of uh, his interactions over the past year or two, um, please reach out to us. The sheriff's office says online predators are a growing problem in cases that they deal with daily. So they encourage parents to monitor your child's social media accounts and also get on those same social media accounts so you know how they operate. Reporting live from Putnam County, Corley Peel Channel 4, the local station. Corley, what did you find when you looked into whether Merrill has a criminal history? Well, according to the sheriff's office, he's, he does have a criminal history, including a prior arrest for interfering with child custody for a different minor. He also has arrests that consist of property-related crimes. Corley Peel reporting live from Putnam County tonight.